What does it look like? Um, it's a uh, like a jungle. Mm-hmm. Describe this jungle for me. What's there? There's like pools of water and uh, like a um, waterfall. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of green. Tell me more about this place. How does it feel to you, temperature-wise? Like perfect body temperature. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not hot or cold. Do you feel that this forest is quiet, or do you feel that perhaps there are some noises there? There's like um, noises of um, monkeys, mm-hmm. uh, birds. Yes. And what does the terrain look like underneath your feet? Um, like uh, leaves that have. Um, you know, like mulch Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. leaves that have this disintegrated. Mm -hmm. So as you look down at the ground, can you see your feet from where you are? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Describe your feet for me. What do they look like? They're like human human feet. Mm -hmm. Do they look male or female? Male. Male. Mm-hmm. Describe the feet for me. They feel like they're young or old feet. Middle-aged. Mm-hmm. So let's... They're like, the color is, uh, the skin is like a darker. A darker skin. Mm-hmm. And what about the body? I want you to now focus on the body and tell me a little bit about what body you feel. Male. Mm-hmm. What, what? Short stature short and how are you dressed there like an indian mm-hmm. what are you wearing um a loincloth mm-hmm. and uh there's face paint mm-hmm. red how is how is your hair worn mm. It's kind of long. Mm-hmm. It's kind of long and uh, kind of like mohawkish or dread. Mm-hmm. Is it tied up in any way or cut in any style? Like a mohawk type, mm-hmm. sort of. Yes. Is it long at the back? Yeah, kind of long, not like um to the middle of. A little bit to the middle of my back or mm-hmm. upper back. Mm-hmm. And tell me if you see anything in your hands. A spear. A spear. Mm-hmm. So let's find out what it is that you're doing in this jungle today. Take me on, on this journey with you. And tell me where you go. I came to... Um, I came to the waterfall place. Mm-hmm. What do you do at that waterfall? How does it feel to you? What emotions are you feeling? Sadness. Mm-hmm. Let's find out. Why are you feeling so sad? Just your first impression. What's happened to you? Um, I think like my wife died. Mm-hmm. So let's allow the memories to come. There was a raid. Mm-hmm. Let's go back to that raid and see what happened. Go back in time. She was there with the baby. Mm-hmm. What happened next? There was another, um, like another tribe that came. And they like uh, killed a lot of the villagers. 
Where were you at the time? Hunting. Mm-hmm. So when you came back to your home, what did you find? They were both dead. Mm -hmm. Allow those emotions to come out now. Tell me what you're feeling. Let it out. Their throats were, were slashed. Mm -hmm. So I went. I went to a, a place I always go to. Mm -hmm. Which is where, where, where I seek solitude, and I, I felt calm in that place. Mm -hmm. The, you know, the place with the, uh, the pool, the pools, and um, the water. Mm -hmm. So let's find out who you connected to in this place. I want you to go ahead and connect with those guides that spoke with you now. The guides? Mm hmm. Who was with you at that place, at the pool? Just me. Mm hmm. And, uh, the God. God. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what interaction you had, what words were spoken. I ask why that, what did that happen? Mm -hmm. What did you hear? It was necessary. Why was it necessary? Mm. For me to go through that? Mm -hmm. For what reason? Growth. Mm -hmm. Do you accept that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do you feel now in your heart? Now that you've been told this? Does Acceptance. It, mm -hmm, doesn't make it any easier, does it? It's still hard. I don't know how to feel about it. Mm -hmm. I just don't really feel much at this point. Mm -hmm. Let's find out why you don't feel much. I want you to go inside of your heart and tell me what you've done with your heart. What have you done to your heart in order to go through this? Stop the uh, caring. Mm -hmm. And what is that doing to you? Mm, there's no, it like sucks the life out. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what happens to you now. After this incident, I want you to close that place that... And I'd like for you now to go to another event in that same lifetime. In the village is having a meeting. Mm -hmm. About what happened. Mm -hmm. Like the chief is discussing. If they're gonna go back and, and do like a, you know, like a revenge. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling about that? I kind of. I'm just listening. Mm -hmm. What happens next? I think I'm, it's night time. There was a mission. Mm -hmm. 
and then our village went to the other one. So are you now part of the other village? Yeah, I took my spear. We we didn't go to the other one to be part of it. We went to attack back. Mm-hmm. And what happens? Mm-hmm. We like attack them back. How does that make you feel as you're attacking these? What's going through your mind? Mm-hmm. I'm not getting anything. Mm-hmm. So let's find out what happens next. Close that scene. Let's go into the next important scene. Where are you? By a river. Mm-hmm. I'm crying. What happened? We had attacked them back. And, uh, I don't think I want to be, you know, part of this lifestyle anymore. Mm-hmm. Who did you kill? A man. Mm-hmm. How does that make you feel? Um... I'm thinking of leaving society, I think. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to be part of it. All right. So tell me what you do next. Mm -hmm. I'm like in a hut. It was like a fire. Do you live by yourself there? No, there's an older man there. Mm-hmm. Who is this man? A shaman. Mm-hmm. Can you see this man's eyes? Yeah, he's like an older mm-hmm. man. Um, you know, Indian. Inca. Mm-hmm. I think Inca times. Look at the man's eyes and see if you recognize him in the life of Romina right now. Does he look familiar to you? I think it's Victor. Mm-hmm. Um, it's the guy that I that comes to my job that we talk about mm-hmm. the hypnosis stuff. Mm-hmm. Very good. So let's see what happens now with this shaman. He's cleansing me. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's doing like some kind of ritual with with smoke. Mm-hmm. To cleanse yes. my soul. Are you feeling anything from this cleansing? Like a new person? Mm-hmm. Like my sins have been washed away. We're done now with the cleansing. Very good. So let's find out what other significant event is in your lifetime. I want you now to close that scene and let's go to another significant event. It's life changing. Where are you? Oh my. I'm like I'm a shaman now. Mm hmm. And I help help others heal. Mm-hmm. Are you in a village now? Look at your surroundings. 
Where do you mm. live? I'm living in a isolated area. Mm-hmm. People, people come to me. What does this isolated area look like? Jungle. Mm-hmm. Um, just jungles. How old do you feel there? Forties. How does it make you feel to be helping all these people? Um, there was a mother there with her mm-hmm. young kid, like a baby. He was sick, and I helped by giving him medicine. Mm-hmm. What kind of medicine do you use? I don't know if this is real, but ayahuasca. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I I think that's what it is. Yes. But it's odd that I would give that to a baby. Mm-hmm. I don't want you to think about it or analyze it. Just say whatever comes to your mind. Is there anything else about this scene that's important? I'm explaining something to them Mm -hmm. about how healing is of the mind. Anything else there? baby I don't know there was some connection between the mother and the baby that caused the illness Mm -hmm. were you able to determine that the separation Mm -hmm. Um, being away from the mother for long periods of time Very good. So let's close that scene now. Let's go to when you're older and something is happening. Something important. I'm an an old man and it's time for me to leave Mm -hmm. this realm. Are you by yourself or are there others with you? Um, Someone is there. My son, I think. Mm-hmm. So tell me what happens. He's sad, but I'm telling him, don't worry. Mm-hmm. I'll be back. Very good. So go ahead and take your last breath in that lifetime. Transition out of that body and tell me what happens to your soul as you leave that body. I see my body on the ground. I'm floating away. Mm -hmm. I'm in a white area with uh, my my, the people that guide me my soul Mm -hmm. group how many do you see? the number I get is 8 can you see them or feel them? I feel that a lot of them are male figures. Mm-hmm. They're male figures? A lot. And maybe a couple women. Tell me more about them. How do they greet you? They said I did well. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. Why 
what happens after this? I'm doing a life review. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that life review. Um, just that I did well because I uh, I left I um, left that lifestyle mm -hmm. and became a healer. Did becoming a healer heal your heart? It was uh, not fully healed, mm -hmm. but it was on its way. Mm -hmm. So what happens next after you've seen this life review? Where do you go? They were talking about where to incarnate next. Mm -hmm. Are you in a physical location? No, in, in the astral world. Okay. Describe it for me. What does it look like when you're meeting with these guys? It was like it looks like a uh, palace-like location. Mm-hmm. In the sky. Mm-hmm. It's our cre it's a created, mutually created uh, place of meeting. Mm -hmm. So let's find out this conversation about your next incarnation. Mm, there's like one one guide. I mean, I can't see his face too well, but there's one main one that I talked to. Does he have a name? Ariel. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go to Korea. Mm -hmm. I was born there. Um, my parents, I think my parents from this lifetime in that era, in that place. Mm -hmm. So what is the purpose of living the lifetime now, that next coming lifetime? What will you be learning there? Family bonds. All right. Like having a strong family bond. Mm -hmm. And how do you select your family members before you go to this next incarnation? My see? mom and my dad. Um, we, we've done a lot of incarnations together. So what is this next one going to be about? Group mentality versus the more of a group mentality. Mm -hmm. um, putting others uh, I think it's more about uh, in the uh, in the Inca time it was more uh, villages and everyone out for themselves and in the Korea times it's more working together mm -hmm. so let's now see yourself in that lifetime and tell me where you are inside um, the old looking houses from those times. Mm -hmm. Tell me how you look. 
I'm a girl. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? Like 12. Mm -hmm. So where are you? What's, what's going on? Uh. What do you see? In the other room. What's in the other room? Um, someone is being tortured. I don't know, I overhear it. What are you doing in this place? I think uh I think uh, I was in the King's Castle. Mm-hmm. Something happened. One of the guys disobeyed the laws of the village. I was working there in the king's castle. What do you do in that? In that place. Like a handmaid. Mm -hmm. So what happens now? Um, I'm thinking like once again I'm in the same situation. Mm -hmm. Are you afraid for your life? No. Um, don't like to see uh, others being hurt. Mm -hmm. What happens next? I think I'm at a funeral. Mm -hmm. Um. There's bowls of rice as offerings. Whose funeral is this? My mother's. Mm -hmm. How old are you? Twenty six. Mm -hmm. What do they call you there? Han Lee, I think. Mm -hmm. When I say Han Lee, does that sound good? Hyun. Hyun Lee. Mm -hmm. H. It would be spelled like H Y U N. Mm -hmm. Lee. Hyun Lee. Mm -hmm. So tell me more, Hyun Lee, about this funeral. I'm sad, but I know I'll see my mom again. Mm -hmm. My dad is there. Look into your dad's eyes and see if you recognize him. My current dad. Mm -hmm. He's really sad. Is I give him a hug. Mm -hmm. What does your soul feel about this 
situation. It just feels that that is why I want to go visit there. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's close the scene and let's go now to another significant scene in that same lifetime. Let's see what happens with you, Hung Young Lee. I got married. Mm -hmm. Um, I got married to someone. How are you feeling with your new husband? I am feeling happy. I think that... I think... It's someone, you know, my soulmate or someone I uh, mm -hmm. have a connection with. Look into his eyes, see if you recognize him, anybody you've met before. Does he seem familiar? I think it was one of my exes from this lifetime. Mm -hmm. there... We're happy together. Very good. We had kids. Tell me about your kids. How many do you have? Two, like a boy and a girl. Mm -hmm. What's your life like there, young lady? What do you do? I I mostly just stay. Um, I think I'm. I think I stay home and uh, like cook and. I don't know if I do any type of work. What does your husband do? I get I get counsel. Counsel. Mm -hmm. Does he work for the king there? I think so. Okay. All right. So let's leave that lifetime. Let's now move until you're older in that same life. Leave that moment and go to where you're older. I'm an old lady. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Wise. Mm -hmm. Think about your life and see how your life has been. We just had a... I had a good life. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's take a go to the end of your life and take your last breath there and allow your soul to transition away from that body and just tell me what happens. I'm back with my guides mm -hmm. at the council with that one guide, that male figure guide, mm -hmm. Ariel. And what is Ariel telling you now? For the most part, that that, that was a good life. Mm -hmm. What was the purpose of that lifetime? To live in the moment. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you did that? successful were you? There were times I worried. Mm -hmm. Overall, uh, I did a good job. Mm -hmm. Did you learn any lessons from that life? You know something about the torture scene. Mm -hmm. What was significant about that torture scene? What were you learning from there?
to not be afraid of evil things. Mm-hmm. So that's because fine. I had I had done it. You had not done it because I had done it in a prior life. Mm. Okay. To accept it. To not not fear it. So let's find out now what Ariel has to say to you about the incarnation that you're in right now. That I fear evil from others. Mm-hmm. In what way? The miserly attitudes. Um, attack, you know? Mm-hmm. It traces it back along to the Inca times. Mm-hmm. Let's find out what was so important about those Inca times. Yeah, the culture. Mm-hmm. I think human sacrifice. Mm-hmm. You know, just uh, easily killing each other. Let's find out if there are any lifetimes that are connected to Romina right now that are affecting her in any way that we need to disconnect. Friends. Mm-hmm. Let's go back to that lifetime. Let's find out a little bit about that. See yourself there. Oh. Okay, it's like World War Two mm-hmm. times. Yes. Look at yourself and see if you're male or female. I'm a female. I'm wearing a dress, like a long dress. Mm-hmm. I think it's burgundy in color. Mm-hmm. Uh, What's going on? The Germans are invading. What are you doing there? Packing everything. Mm-hmm. Are you in your home? Yeah, I'm in my home. Mm-hmm. Um, me and my husband at the time, which was Rob from an from another, of, you know, the ex. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were packing. Because they had invaded, they were coming. We had the little dog there. A little black dog with curly hair. Oh, we... I think we were Jewish. Mm -hmm. We would be targeted. So what do you do now? Where do you go? We go out into, I don't know, it's like white outside, like winter, like snow. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to be cold. So we packed blankets. Mm -hmm. Where do you go? I don't know, uh, there was like a bombing earlier. Much of the buildings were destroyed. I go to uh, I 
think we got to my aunt's house. Mm -hmm. yeah, the same aunt from this lifetime, mm -hmm. I think. Yes. Like we're gonna hide there. Okay. So see yourself hiding and tell me what are the circumstances around this? We're staying at our house. I think the Germans have occupied. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the town I'm getting is Laverne. How are you feeling? Scared. Just uh, scared of being found out or caught. Mm -hmm. So, <sighs> what happened? I uh, I'm just uh. Again, thinking, why do people have to be like this? Mm -hmm. So let's advance the scene and tell me when something significant happens. Mm, there's peace now. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, the Germans are gone. I think there's peace in the town. How are you feeling? Uh, I think like uh, relief, but at the same time, my heart feels heavy. People have to be like this mm -hmm. with each other. So let's advance that lifetime and see what happens to you as you get older. I think that I think that me and Rob are, are split now. Mm -hmm. We're not together. Mm -hmm. I'm alone, but I'm okay. I think I have my own shop or work or something. Yes. In this in the town. Seamstress mm -hmm. is what I get. Yes. Are you happy? Yeah, I'm content. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's go now to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Uh, I think I'm an old lady. Mm -hmm. It's time for me to go. Mm -hmm. I I go to sleep on a bed, and I die in my sleep. I knew it was time to go. So where do you go now? Now that you leave the soul. I think I'm back with Ariel. Mm -hmm. So what does Ariel have to say now about this life? This life as this woman in France. He always just says I did well. Any lessons that had to be learned from that lifetime? To not be afraid. Mm -hmm. To die. Not be afraid to die. By, you know, the hands of people who tried to kill you. Mm -hmm. 
that um, everything's going to be okay regardless, whatever happens. Very good. Does Ariel have anything else to say today? Romy is a good person. She's trustworthy, mm -hmm. tolerant, beautiful. She doubts her abilities. Does Romy, doubts people sometimes. Mm -hmm. Does Romy connect with you, Ariel, when she's praying or she's doing anything else. Yeah, she connects with us often. Mm -hmm. We guide her. How big is her team? <laughs> I want to say eight, but thousands, really. Mm -hmm. Because it covers you and everyone else she knows mm -hmm. she's met come into contact over time mm -hmm. that she's had inter interactions with is this part of her soul group yeah the whole human family is her soul group mm -hmm. so why is it that she's here today what did you want to tell her Ariel? Um, she's very ambitious in her soul growth. Uh, she needs to stop by and smell, the, stop a little and smell the flowers. Mm -hmm. Not try to rush. Um, because she wants a. Uh, She wants to get freedom from suffering. Is that possible? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell her how. Listening to your gut. Trusting yourself, not doubting yourself. How well is she doing with that? She communicates with us often. Mm -hmm. We are always here for her. We were excited that she came here so we could talk to her. Mm -hmm. She wanted to talk with her higher source. Can we do that today? With God energy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Would you allow her to connect now? Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Ariel, You're welcome. Let me speak now with Higher Source. Do I have permission to ask questions? Yes. Thank you very much. What is Romy's purpose in life? To live life to the fullest. Mm -hmm. Is she doing that? Channeling me through her. Mm -hmm. uh, she's trying to... She's trying to... Uh, connect. So I can channel through her. Mm -hmm. What's holding her back? Herself. Mm -hmm. Can you tell her what she's not doing doubting herself mm -hmm. um being scared of others you know. uh, being scared of others the snake habit of others the the instinctive urge to attack when feeling threatened that's what others do mm -hmm. 
However, there is no threat. Is she getting that from other lifetimes? Is she dragging some of that from another life? <laughs> Mommy needs to go to the bathroom. Ah, all right. Can we connect after she uses the bathroom? Yes. Thank you. So I'm going to now touch Romy's shoulder. You can open your eyes. And when you come back, you will be connected even deeper than you are right now. You've done a great job. Be there now. We were asking questions about Romy and how she can connect even better to you. Just by not doubting herself. Mm -hmm. We try to tell her over and over. She tells yeah. me she does channeling through automatic writing and she does astral traveling. What is she, she used to do astral traveling. Mm -hmm. uh, and then she had the problem in her uterus mm -hmm. that prevented the travels for a while. Mm -hmm. Now she's having a problem focusing enough to be able to leave her body. What's stopping all of this? Just the doubts? No. Um, she's come to realize that the uh, God is within, not, not even when you leave your body mm -hmm. to go somewhere. You can't search for God in a specific location, even leaving your body. Mm -hmm. uh, God is even here on earth now. Mm -hmm. So there's really no need to go anywhere. Okay. She wants to be able to work with her kundalini. Do you want to know what the kundalini is? Her true self. Mm -hmm. When all the chakras are open, you become your true self. You act in the moment with no fear. Mm -hmm. And only good can come of it. Well, she wants to be able to raise and maintain the kundalini open in this lifetime. How can she do that? She's really close. Mm -hmm. Who's been helping her with that? I have. Mm. So what does she have to do now to finally accomplish this? She's not quite ready. Mm -hmm. Um... She's getting there. Mm -hmm. All she has to do is remove, remove all doubt, all her her doubt and fear, mm -hmm. all her. She has to drop everything, all her fears and doubts. Mm -hmm. Is that something that she's close to doing, or does she have to work on that? In probably four years. Okay. Um, there's still stuff that she has to do in her lifetime. Mm -hmm. Before connecting with me like that. What do you want her to work on? Her fears of others. Mm -hmm. Not being afraid of their attack, even, she's even going to go at the end of this year mm -hmm. to Medellin, mm -hmm. even there, where you could go even to hell, you could go and you would be protected mm -hmm. if you Look at your brother and see me mm -hmm. in his eyes. Mm -hmm. Even 
in Mexico City or any or Libya, any of the of the places that people fear the most. Mm -hmm. so they just fear themselves. So you're basically telling her, see God in everyone, and there should I be am no fear. Mm -hmm. In the eyes of each person. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So about four, four or five more years, perhaps, she'll be there. Four, but nothing in time is set. Mm -hmm. So she can make it quicker. <laughs> It's all your decision. Okay. It's just a choice. It's your choice. Mm -hmm. How long do you want it to be? When are you willing to let go? What's the fastest way for her to become her higher self now? Her choice? Does she really want to? Mm-hmm. Does she really want to be, be uh, me mm -hmm. to others? Uh, she's afraid to be me because Because uh, others will get scared sometimes. Mm -hmm. Too much power? Spiritual power? No, no, she's afraid because... Uh, because then she would realize that everything is... Her creation. Mm. That comes with a lot of responsibility. Yeah, it's kind of scary when you realize mm -hmm. that you created everything. What did you create? Including the drama, the contrast. You, if you don't know yet what you want to create, are you prepared to face the truth? Once you know what you want to create, then you become the creator. Mm -hmm. Well, she wants to be able to give Shak, shaktipat, shat, shaktipat. <laughs> it's a hard one. Shaktipat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good, thank you. She wants to be able to give that. Can she do that by changing reality? Does she want to change reality? Mm hmm. Yes, if you want to change it, and you know who you are, even you can do it. Mm -hmm. Or do you want to let the other part of you attain awareness on their own, like a child. You can let the cat in. <laughs> it's all about what you want to create. <laughs> Mm 
do you want your other creations to grow like you? Mm-hmm. So it's her choice. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's your choice too. Mm-hmm. Anything else you want to say about that? How we can help heal others? To be patient and let them learn for your, themselves, for them to be your equals in creation. Because if you... want to just take that away from them, they stop becoming independent life forms. Mm -hmm. They become your, like robots, but not like the cat who does whatever it wants to do. Mm -hmm. You can rejoice in them, in the little surprises they give you, like wanting to come in the room and be a part of your life. Mm -hmm. Did she ever fall from grace? In the Egyptian times? Mm-hmm. What happened? Jealousy. Is that affecting her life now? No. As a matter of fact, she's overcome. Mm hmm Jealousy. <laughs> mm -hmm. And actually doesn't like it in others. Because it, it was the first sin mm -hmm. in her soul growth. It was part of her soul growth. Any questions that you have, Alba? Mm -hmm. No, not at this time. Let me continue with hers. She wants to manifest a soulmate. What can she do to do that? It's high on her list. Let go. Mm -hmm. Allow love to come in. Let someone love you. Mm -hmm without trying to manipulate or be anything special. Just be yourself. Now, is this soulmate that she has out in the world an actual person, or is it something that she manifests, a relationship that she manifests from anybody? This lifetime, it'll be a person that has uh, reached like uh, the same type of awareness that she has. Mm -hmm. Has she met them yet? No. Mm -hmm. How much longer? Four years. Four years? It seems like in the four years there's going to be a lot happening. can be sooner mm -hmm. if she lets go of uh, desire, personal oh. desire. Okay. Now she asks a question about how does she maintain the spark in a relationship? How do you do that? Being in the moment, not trying to manipulate Loving the other person for who they are. Living life to its fullest. Mm -hmm. Because she sees other people kind of drifting apart. They will come back together eventually. Mm -hmm. What does she need healing on today?
realizing that people are just people. Mm -hmm. No one is perfect. Mm -hmm. What's the state of her heart right now? Does it need some healing? Yes, because she has some heart, heart palpitations mm -hmm. sometimes. All right. Would you allow me to help her with this exercise? Yes, please. All right. So I want you, Romy, to look inside of your heart, and I want you to tell me what it looks like. What's going on down there? There is like a green, um, green like uh, plant like growth, but it's uh, invasive. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what this plant like growth is. Does it have its own consciousness? It could be a worm. Mm -hmm. All right. Would you like me to speak with this worm today? Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to bring this energy up, 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 and allow me to speak with it. Good morning. Hi. Could you tell me how long you've been there with Romy? Years. Years. Do you have a gender? Are you male or female? Both. Both. Mm -hmm. And how is it that you came upon her heart? Salmon. Hmm. Tell me about that. Romy likes sushi. Mm hmm So when you came in, you just attached yourself to her heart? Yes. Mm hmm And what are you doing in her heart? I live off of it. Mm hmm What do you get off of it? My life. Mm hmm But it seems to me that this is not your proper place to be. Where would you prefer to be? At the beach. At the beach. All right. So let's have you go to the beach. I want you to pull out all of that green stuff that you've grown there. And let's have you transported to the beach. I want you to pull everything out. And I'm going to ask all of the angels to come and surround you. I want you to go ahead and start leaving through the top of her head and taking all of your surroundings with you. Pull it all out. And I'm going to have them transport you right to where you need to go. And tell me what this place looks like that you're going to. Clear blue water. Beautiful. And what would you like to do in that clear blue water? I'm going to go in the water and bathe. Beautiful. So go ahead and do that. And I'd like our I'm gonna swim in the water. Mm -hmm. I'd like Romy to go ahead inside of your heart and take a look at what it looks like inside now. Is there any remnants of this where I'm in there? A hole where it left. A hole where it left. All right. So I'm gonna have you pick up some sort of a tool. It could be a light. It could be a hose. It could be any tool that you can use to repair that hole. What would you like to use? <laughs> a welding kit. Beautiful. So bring that out. Put that that hat on over your head and let's start welding that heart bring it all together and tell me how it changes it's completely sealed beautiful beautiful so i'm going to ask archangel Raphael to send his light into your heart so that he can continue working on it and let me speak with the higher source now could you tell me what her heart looks like now it's completely healed. Wonderful. So I'd like for you to continue working with her heart, healing it, so that she can find love. She can keep that heart open for another individual that would love her. She will be going to North Carolina soon. All right. So tell her about that. That time will be a time to live in the moment. Mm-hmm. Reconnect with your true energy. You were always a nature person. But you forgot. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a reminder of your first love with nature. Would you do a body scan on her, please? And let's see how her health is today. Her liver. Mm -hmm. What's going on with her liver? It was the original source of uh, melasma. Mm -hmm. It is being healed. Wonderful. Thank you. Uh, drink a lot of water. Drink water. Good. She was afraid of uh, 
this melasma being something else? The original. Mm -hmm. What was the original thing that caused thought? It? Yes. Was attributing somebody else's sin sin as her own. Okay. Well, others are don't take on others' negative energy. So that attacked her liver. She attacked her own liver. Okay. Uh, nobody can do anything to you except your belief that in it mm -hmm. you are perfect inside. It's only your belief in what others may tell you about you or society mm -hmm. that makes you doubt yourself. Okay. So what else did you find in her body? Her eyes. Mm -hmm. What's going on with them? They are opening. We we send her white flashes in the left eye. Mm -hmm. What do they mean? Those white flashes. That she's opening to seeing. seeing with uh, my eyes mm. her right eye has an indentation mm -hmm. can we begin to heal that today yes thank you what do you use when you heal her eyes we talk to her all the time. Mm. She has to stop being afraid of others and and uh, to realize that she's okay within. Do not take on the sins of others, their images of imperfection. Do not take them into you. See only perfection in yourself and others. Okay, good. What else have you seen in her today? Her throat. Mm -hmm. What's going on with her throat? Sometimes speaking too much or at the wrong improper times. Um, not done purposefully, but unaware. Still learning to trust her inner voice mm -hmm. of when is the proper time to speak. And once spoken, do not fear what was said. Let it go. Wonderful. Does she have a particular guy that works with her as far as communication? All her guides are me. Mm, okay, good. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So she wants to know what else is going on with her body. Her uterus. Mm -hmm. What happened there? Improper use of the sexual organs. Mm -hmm. It has been fully cleansed. And redirected towards a higher spiritual purpose. She fears making a mistake again, mm -hmm. but there are no mistakes in my eyes. Does she have any scar tissue there? No. Okay, good. So it's clear? No. Can um, you work on that? This trip 
medicine she's taking to North Carolina will help her heal there. Mm -hmm. Reconnecting with nature will remind her of the natural flow of Mother Earth mm -hmm. and its connection to the womb. Mother Earth is the representation of the womb. They have the same purpose mm. to bring life. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. What else have you seen in her body today? Her gums. Mm -hmm. What's happening there? Paras parasitic mm -hmm. infestation at a bacterial level. Mm -hmm. What can we do to heal that today? Not being... Knowing when to speak and then not being afraid to speak. Mm -hmm. And... Trusting her inner voice. Even if others... Aren't... Fully prepared to hear what you have to say. When I first came into this incarnation as Jesus, I wasn't always a follower. Mm -hmm. I was sometimes abrasive and uh, But I was me. Everyone can be themselves. You're allowed to be yourself. Because I allow you to be free. I have given you free will to be as you want to be and to say the things you want to say. Don't think that. Give others the ability to speak. And then you will, will be able to speak openly. Do not be afraid to speak your highest truth of who you are. Wonderful. She asks about gray hair. What's the spiritual cause of that? Not trusting that everything will be okay. Trying to manipulate the uh, surroundings and people and getting stressed out instead of letting others be who they want to be. So how can she heal that? That's a tall order. by following my words, listening for my words mm -hmm. in every breath. Mm. Paying attention to my words. Mm -hmm. I'm very close. being expressed in your self but you doubt and fear let go of all that for me to be able to express fully The truth. Mm -hmm. 
she's been reading a lot of books. Of course, in Miracles, other books. What were you trying to show her or tell her? In leading her to those books? I changed the writings in the books to suit her. Mm. As I changed the writings to suit everyone else. The universe is a, a work in motion. People think it's so stable. I send you guys signs all the time by changing reality. That's where white people have remnant memories of more than one state or different events that happen differently. Mm -hmm. Things are changing as we speak mm -hmm. because I want you, you guys to be happy and to love each other and to have a wonderful world and a great time together. What can we do as a society to make it better? Pray. Uh, want a change. When you experience the dark, you start realizing you want to change. And then it changes. Mm -hmm. There's right now a lot of instability in politics, for example, where people are up in arms about the government. What's causing all of this? Why now? Political systems are the illusion of your own inner fear. When you feed into your inner fear, you will create the outside reality. Mm -hmm. But it's all within you. Just by changing your thoughts, you can change reality. You don't have to. There doesn't have to be war. Mm -hmm. If you don't like it, change your thoughts to peace. And there will be peace. You cannot look at another brother and blame them because it's all the outer illusion of your inner world and it is changing I have changed it in the hearts of many mm -hmm. now Romy had told me made a statement she doesn't want the contrast anymore she's tired of it and I think a lot of people feel the same way. What would you like to tell her about contrast? It's all what you want. What you guys want this world to be, it'll be. If you guys don't want it anymore, don't become part of it. Don't join the fight when you don't want to be in the fight. Mm -hmm. She learned this a long time ago in the Inca times. Mm -hmm. You guys are still joining the fight when you don't want it. And then you wonder why 
there's so much more. You join it even at the level of how you treat your neighbor. So you have to start small, obviously. Within you. Mm -hmm. Each person starts within themselves. Okay. I am there in each one mm -hmm. of you. If you listen, and if you want good things, they will come, but you must first want, identify what is a good thing, write it down. Mm -hmm. Write down all the good things you want in this world. Put in a list, send it out to me, the universe. We will make it happen for you guys. We've given you guys free will, so you guys choose what you want. Do you want bloodshed? Or do you want rejoice, rejoicing, happiness, parties? We create it with our requests. With your, your wanting, mm -hmm. your desires. Just like the cat wanted to come inside. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. I love cats. What is the reason you brought Romy here today? What did you want to tell her or anybody else? The doorways are in your souls. Stop looking at what's going on on the outside. Look within your hearts. I am there. Look for what is good. You'll know what is good by the fruit it bears meaning. If you're doing good, good will come of it. Don't make distinctions as to what religion is good or not. Good comes from good, regardless of if it's Jewish or Arabic or Swahili or any other form of culture. Why do you fight with each other when you can have a ball, have fun together. Don't you guys remember when you were little in the playground and you used to play together? Were there any distinctions to who you guys were? What color someone was or what? race or what nationality you played it can be like that now don't forget to play stop creating rules and distinctions to separate yourselves be with me again so we can all be together, we can all be one, once again, like how we were when we first came here. Don't you guys remember that? Who you were? Why have we forgotten? I gave you free will so you can make what you wanted. 
you all have created because you're all our children growing up. You are growing well. We are altering reality as people become more loving. So we're here altering the universe as you grow. <laughs> Direction. Anything else you would like to tell Romy or anybody else? Or my cat? <laughs> the cat <laughs> is a rem rambunctious cat. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> the cat wants to be part of everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the cat wonders why you bring people here. Mm -hmm. The cat now wants to get to know these people, mm -hmm. to be a part of them. Not happening. <laughs> <laughs> if you could tell the cat that he could just say hi. Cat. Quiet down. <laughs> We're trying to talk here. Serious talk. Anything else that you would like to tell her or anybody else is, since we have your undivided attention? The nature of change is happening. You're all growing. Don't be afraid. The world is your cradle. You're all part of an experiment so that I could have companions worthy in their expression equals to the highest source of energy. That is all. Thank you very much. Are we complete with Romy today? In due time, Romy will return. She will learn. How to help others. Due time. That is all. Thank you very much. Wide awake, feeling wonderful all over. <laughs> How do you feel? I don't know. I feel. I feel like I was going to maybe see something like physically, mm -hmm. but I was just getting like information. Mm -hmm. um, just, just just a knowing of it. Just knowing, not really like a physical seeing, like mm -hmm. with the 
very vague scene, you know. Well, with, you were doing very well in whatever vague scene you were seeing. I don't know. And there was a thing that you were talking about, which is like you tend to doubt mm -hmm. if this is true yeah. or like your logical mind wants yeah. to question it. Like, mm -hmm. am I making this up? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was feeling. I'm like, because I'm not seeing anything. I'm right. just, you knowing know, it. knowing it. So excellent. How long do you feel you're on this journey? An hour and 44 minutes. I don't know. Holy moly, you're right on the number. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm serious. It just went to 144. And then like when my highest, higher self or highest self, whatever, when that was mm -hmm. speaking, it mm -hmm. just feels just like you, yeah. but you know, it was coming the up. confirmation just comes out. It, yeah. You don't question it. You don't, you know, I don't know. What do you think? It did great. It did great. And the cat. <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> I want to see this cat. I haven't even seen I, I the cat. I it again. Oh. But, uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's very rambunctious. <laughs> he wants to be the, 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 the guy. Yeah. So, so is this something that you want to share with others? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Here we are. Mm, I know. Oh. So we had a really interesting session. It was, it was totally different than, than any others because... It was? Yeah. Because you were talking from from a higher place. I mean, you were really connecting to towards a the, different energy. Towards the end, I felt so like heavy, like my mm. body felt heavy, and I was and my breathing felt like it was just its own breathing. Yes, like I had gotten towards the end mm -hmm. in a more deeper trance. Well, you, you you could see it. You could see the way you were talking. So tell everybody why you came here. I came just for spiritual growth and I came because I saw Alba's videos <laughs> and through watching videos I was amazed at watching other people and the things that their higher selves were saying mm -hmm. and even had some experiences um, as I watched as I heard them like they connect they resonated on a deeper mm -hmm. level mm -hmm. I felt like you Alba like you you are a facilitator that you know, you, um, you use your intuition mm -hmm. to guide you in the, in the questions or mm -hmm. in guiding the person. So now that you've experienced it, how does it feel from the inside? It feels like I'm going to just have to listen to it <laughs> more and more and to see like what you said, like, is it real, you know, um, mm -hmm. and to trust that inner voice, mm -hmm. um, because, you know, it's not like, it's not like, uh, you know, something, it's not like anything visual. It's more just like a quiet inner voice that mm -hmm. you have to trust. Right. And, and one of the things I tell all of my clients is that when you're in hypnosis, that little voice is constantly telling you, I'm making this up. Because you're using that part of your mind that you usually use for imagination. So obviously your logical mind is saying, no, you, this is not real. This is what you use all the time when you imagine. So when did she come up? Was she chattering at you saying, you're making this all up? Um, just in the very beginning as I was, you know, when I saw the part about uh, the jungle and all that mm -hmm. stuff, I wasn't sure if I was making it up in, in the beginning. And then later on, like... Um, some of the information um, I wasn't but, sure but, towards but during during that scene I mean you got really emotional yeah How, why would you make that up I don't know I mean I guess it, it's because the emotions were there right, from right, that time right and that's one of those things that when you when you think back I mean you were feeling really really emotional my, my why would you make up the fact that your wife and your baby got their throat slit I mean, and I did pretty I did have a dream from like those times before with mm -hmm. my parents so mm -hmm. I th I mean some of my dreams that I've had about past lives like they correlated to what we talked about mm -hmm. here it seems like you needed to have more confirmation more information on these dreams that you had you were connecting yeah. all the time but I didn't know that my main fear was um, from that original time like I didn't know that my main fear is just what people can do to you, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from that lifestyle. There he is again. <laughs> Let me go get him so that keep talking and tell him a little mm -hmm. bit more about the hypnosis. 
So the hypnosis is, it's basically just uh, you being completely relaxed. <laughs> unlike, unlike this rambunctious guy. This he looks, is, he's like, oh my cat. God, I'm going to be on, on TV. I'm not, I'm not prepared for this. This oh, is my cat. He's so pretty. Wait, wait, wait. Why, why are you afraid? He, he does not like to be picked up or anything. He's very rambunctious. <laughs> His name is Tashi. There he is. Me and my family, we've been like cat people all, our whole... So there you go. <laughs> now he leaves. Okay, so tell him about the hypnosis. It's basically you getting really relaxed and trusting your inner voice and just talking without barring or without, what's the word, censoring yourself or judging or thinking. Mm -hmm. Just talking whatever comes up into your mind mm -hmm. and trusting that. Yeah, and it's really the first thing that pops into your mind is what we, we do. So do you recommend this to other people? Yeah, I do. Was it worth coming all the way over here? Where'd you come from? Uh, Coconut Creek. Yeah, so she drove this morning. Like an hour. Yeah, so if you want a session with me, all you have to do is go to my website, albawyman.com. It's very easy. You'll see my calendar there. And you can come here to Miami, where I live, or you can sign up for my newsletter, because I do travel all over the place, and you can see where... I'm going to next. Make sure you put your address, city, and state in there when you fill it out so that I know where you live so I could figure it out. So until the next time, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this session and I hope to get to see you soon. Bye. So Give me a hug now. Mm.